What's going on YouTube? GSNomite here. So in today's video we have an update for the Uncovered Jailbreak. Yes, developer Pound Own posted quote Uncovered 6.1.2 is now out with additional stability improvements and new safety feature. And they posted this yesterday. So a new update for the Uncover is out. Now we get more details here on the Uncover page and it says quote What's new? Fix a cause of random reboots on iOS 14. Fix a cause of Jetsam events on iOS 14. Fix a cause of processes being killed with the Signal 9 on iOS 14, particularly DPKG, PostInst, etc. And increase compatibility with signing services. And then of course we get introduce a new safety feature to preserve stock files from modification by packages. So this is overall a pretty interesting update. Hopefully it should fix many of the Jetsam issues that the Uncover had because the 6.1.1 had a lot of them. And apparently this should fix some random reboots as well. So it's definitely a good idea to get it. Now Pound Own posted this and many people replied as you can see from here on Twitter. But some people actually complained that this version actually is a little bit worse. So I have no idea what to tell you now, especially in terms of battery and so on. But apparently for many people this worked fine, so definitely get it and try it out. In order to do it, the recommended method would be to use of course the Alt Store, which is this program here, which you can get for both macOS and Windows. For Windows it's still in beta and it requires Windows 10, but for macOS you can get away with 10.14.4 or newer. Now if you don't want to complicate your life with Alt Store, another program that would actually work is Sideloadly, which is completely free created by iOS Gods and this is basically like CD Impactor. You load the IPA file or double click on it, connect the device, have your Apple ID in there and it actually saves your Apple ID and password locally so that next time you have to sign something you just press start and you don't have to input your password again. It also provides a couple of options here to try to support iOS 8. Not the case this time but you do have the option. Remove limitations, enable UI file sharing, change the application name for example if you don't want it to be called uncovered you want it to be called let's say jailbreak change the app version but I definitely don't recommend to do that and change the app bundle ID which again I don't recommend because uncover may detect that it's running a different version and it may tell you that you have to update it if you do decide to sign it with side loadly though make sure that you have the use any set authentication if you have a free developer account if you have the paid developer account you can safely switch this off however if you have the free one you will need this any set thing here otherwise you wouldn't be able to sign the application so then once you're ready you just have to press start and that's basically it. It says obtaining the ID and that's it really. As you can see it only takes a while and it says signing here connecting, uploading, and that's it. So you should wait a couple of seconds, it's going to complete immediately, and after the verifying process, it should say that it's done. So as you can see, installation done. Now that was fast, and this is actually available for both Windows and Mac OS. You can get this program for Windows as well on the iOSGods.com. So yeah, Alt Store is the recommended method, but if you have problems with Alt Store, it doesn't work for you, or you don't have Windows 10. For example, you have Windows 8.1 like I do, or you have an older Mac OS version and so on. One, then you will be able to use the side loadly with no problem. However, CD Impactor wouldn't work at all. Don't try to use CD Impactor, it won't work if you don't have a paid developer account. So yeah, an important update for the Uncover, it says in here that it fixes a lot of things including Jetsam and Random Reboot, which are problems that many, many people have reported, especially on Reddit Jailbreak and many other platforms like that. Because yes, this has been a bug very common with Uncover 6 and newer, so I'm pretty happy to see that they at least attempt to make this better, to fix this. So yeah, definitely install it and tell me if it works for you as well. So that's basically how you do it. That's basically how you update, you install it on your device and that's it. The rest of the procedure is rather simple. Reboot your phone and read jailbreak with the new Uncover and you should have the new changes. Also very important to mention that if you have any changes in Cydia, you should definitely do them. If you have updates to the substitute or any other core component, do the updates after the jailbreak. So yeah, thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, keep your Uncover jailbreak updated and peace out.